get, let's talk about Durant, because because Sunday morning, you know, he he, he made some headlines uh, because there was one Twitter user uh, who Benji. tweeted, "I see you really can't lead a team on your own." And yeah, Durant see? replied, "I'll never be able to do anything that I really want to do on Earth by myself." And that's not the first time. I mean, look, he's had burner had account. Now I don't even know if he uses a burner account now. Now it's just him. Wait. Now, now it's just now it's just KD, KD Trey Five. I would, I would like to see. I would like to see Kevin Durant save his energy, because the Can't. people Can't do it. who drop snake emojis in the comments, the people who don't believe that Kevin Durant. Uh, legitimately won two championships with the Warriors and the people who believe that Kevin Durant took the easy route uh, jumping from Oklahoma City after losing that 3-1 lead to the Warriors who had won 73 games without him those people he's never going to change their minds for the same reason that many of us long ago stopped trying to convince racist of their racism or stop trying to convince I mean there's just certain people like they just they just they, they're just there to argue they're just there for attention that Kevin Durant is happily providing them they're not going to change their minds about Kevin Durant because he says I'll never be able to do anything that I really want to do on this earth by myself right those people you've lost them and you're never going to get them there are certain people exactly. when it comes to all matters whether it's race gender or Kevin Durant's legacy they're never going to change their minds no matter how many times you tweet them, it is this never-ending cycle of just tweets and retweets, and who could run up, uh, run up the score, or or, or, or one up somebody, right? And I've retired from that game long ago, and I wish Kevin Durant, who am I to tell him how to use his Twitter, as he said, but I will, I wish he would save his energy. But I don't even think that's what it is for him at this point. I think he's just one of these dudes, and maybe we can't relate to it because we old. I just, I think he enjoys it. I think he enjoys being regular. And I think those of us who look at him as, well, Kevin Durant, you're one of the greatest people to ever pick up a basketball. You, this should be beneath you. I think he's like, no, it's not beneath me. No, I'm man. just a regular no, dude. No. I want to I I do the same thing y'all do, and I want to clap back. Let me clap back. And I guess I'm like, okay, if that whatever floats your boat, bro. But it's like, I just think for Kevin Durant, you are like you even correcting somebody that says you really can't lead a team on your own. Your response is not going to enlighten that person. It's just going to shine a spotlight on that person that they didn't otherwise deserve. It's in there. the reason the reason like Twitter is so interesting. Social media in general is interesting. Particularly the response. I'm not saying be Chrissy Teigen and log off for life. I'm not saying delete your hey, account. And, Kevin and, and good for Chrissy Teigen. I'm just saying good for her. Smart. No, for sure. Good for. Great. Hey, I love what she had to say. I love her rationale. I'm saying Kevin Durant can use Twitter how he wants. I just hope that he's not thinking that he's going to convince people or change people's hearts or minds one clap back at a time because it ain't happening. People have people have made up their mind about him. And even though the fact is my... that LaMarcus Aldridge and Blake Griffin and James Harden want to play with him and Kyrie Irving, they want to play with him, not the other way around. People are just going to look at it as though there's only one way for him to win a championship, and that's the hard way, the old-fashioned way. As if anybody in NBA history has ever won a championship with a bunch of bums. Never. It's never but happened. Let's not but let I the facts get away with a good Twitter beef. I would say with Kevin Durant, though, and, and, uh, and a lot of people on social media, the reason it bothers you is because it's something they have able... When you respond to somebody, you got millions of followers, like he does, and you respond to somebody who says something... Uh, trifling, ratchet, whatever it is. It's because they have yep. tapped. They have tapped on something it, that it bothers struck you. a nerve. It bothers you. You can say anything you want. Hey, don't tell me how to use Twitter or like you're responding because it bothers you. And so I don't think he is doing it. Hey, I like to be like generally. Everybody. No, you know what? I, I what taught me, show me everything. I mean, I have like 10 examples of Kevin Durant. One of the recent examples, Charles Barkley was very critical of him over the summer, of Durant. Mm -hmm. We talk about what he so, didn't answer Charles. What is one word in yeah. Charles Barkley? 
But he was yeah. like, yeah. He just sat there. He <laughs> yeah. sat there and he pouted. Yeah. Yeah. And he pouted. Come on, man. Like, this is the thing. This is their, I don't know, what, what, what's the bigger Achilles heel for the Brooklyn Nets? Kevin Durant's sensitivity or their defense? I don't know. It's hand in hand. It's 50-50. I'm trying to attack both. I think both. it's mutually exclusive. I'm trying to attack both on the Brooklyn Nets when I get well, to no, the but playoffs. See, but wait, but that's it. Okay, but this sensitivity. Wait, let's discuss this. But see, that I got I got to disagree with you vehemently or violently, okay. as the case may be. Go ahead. On that. Violent, violently um, disagree. Go ahead. If you, think, if you think that Kevin Durant's sensitivity, his rabbit ears, his Twitter activity, if you think that's going to be the Nets undoing, you got another thing coming. Okay, like, watch. I, Kevin Durant, do you, okay, let me ask you a question. Kevin Durant ain't going to hear nothing now that he didn't hear when he went to the Warriors. Did that stop him from being the best player on the Golden State Warriors? See, here's the, fact, here's the thing that his haters don't acknowledge. What they don't acknowledge great. is that they can add everybody under the sun. They can add everybody under the sun. Not Everybody under the sun, not named LeBron James. And Kevin Durant's the best player on the team. And some would say that even if they added LeBron James, Kevin Durant's the best player on the team. Some. I'm not one of them, but some. It's an argument. Point being is that when he went to the Warriors, even though the Warriors won without him, he became the best player. And the Warriors will tell you that. No matter who the Nets, when, the Net, when he and Kevin, Kyrie Irving went to the Nets, Kevin Durant's the best player. James Harden, one of the greatest offensive forces we've ever seen, comes to the Nets. Kevin Durant's Kevin the best Durant's player. The best. Kevin Durant's the best player. That's right. Kevin Durant's the best player on the team. And what's interesting is how haters have different shifts that they take. Hating is a full-time job, so I've been told. Is it? And they have different shifts that they take. Because the same do people it. How long is your typical how long criticize, is your typical Nets game? About two and a half hours. I can do about two and a half hours. I do about what? Seven, eight hours a week. I would love to more. I would love to. So King Ravi 101. The person who inspired, who, who, who elicited and solicited Kevin Durant's response, Ravi uh, Mahani, Mohani, King Ravi 101. I would love to go through his Twitter history and see if he kept that same energy when LeBron James got Anthony Davis. Or when LeBron James went to Cleveland with Kyrie Irving and flipped uh, Andrew Wiggins for Fine. Kevin Love. This is I, not would about love I would love though. to know because. It's no, not about what it's talent. about. No, it's but not, my point. My point is, Michael Kevin Durant is I, not guilty I, yeah. of any. He, he's guilty of nothing that any other superstar has done throughout NBA history. He yeah. just did it differently, and his timing was off. But I, but I'm why not, people hate on I'm Kevin Durant? As on in, him. hey, he's no. He, why are you hating on him? I'm not hating on. Why are you hating on him? Why? Because why? As you said. Championship teams always have great players. General managers, all of them. Either the front players, office does, either the front office does it, either the front office does it, or the players do it. What's the difference? Honestly, what's the difference? What did Michael Jordan win without Scottie Pippen? I have not, uh, I have not tweeted at Kevin Durant yet. I don't think I'll do that. At least not under my own account. <laughs> it's a good idea, though. It's a good idea. Let's see if I can get a good response. No, but in all seriousness. I think what, what people who don't like Kevin Durant, because I happen to like him very much. I think he's uh, just unbelievable. He's like yeah, but, yeah, Kevin but Durant. Funny way of showing is, it. No, no, no. He's he's a great player. He he reminds me of now this is a Hall of Fame player I'm talking about. It's it's almost like he picked up the things. Look it up, boys and girls, if you don't know the name. He picked up all the things that Alex English didn't have in his game. So Alex Alex English, Hall of Fame baller. Could score mid range, though. Mid range, good mid range score. So Kevin Durant took Alex English's game and then put it on steroids, figure of speech, uh, put it on steroids and just became a complete offensive machine and a little bit more height, about three or four inches on Alex English. So I, I, I appreciate who he is. I used to call Kevin Durant New English. Get that New English. I like that. Anyway, this is what I don't like about him and what, what, his, what his haters don't like about him. I'm, I'm kind of neutral on this. They were up three games okay. to one, I believe, on Golden State. Right? 3 1. Correct. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. Harden was still. Was Harden still there? No, Harden no, was, was gone. gone. I think Harden was gone. But they were up no, three up. games to one gone. on Golden State. Mm -hmm. 
They lose that mm -hmm. series, and he runs to Golden State. I mean, yeah. like, okay, I get it. But yeah. it does – optically, it's questionable. You agree? It's just a little but, okay, question. I, you could have okay. beaten this team. No, it, and, it was for me, and it was for me at the time. But my, Right. And, and, and what was worse is that Russ took the fall for it as if, as if Kevin Durant didn't have moments where he underperformed in that collapse. But it was all about what well, Russell Westbrook was holding him back. Wasn't holding you back from getting up 3-1 in the first place. So, no, that was unprecedented. But much like LeBron's decision, at a certain point, can we get over it? Like, when LeBron went to Miami, when LeBron went to Miami, I was talking about tw tweeting. I remember tweeting, if LeBron joins Dwayne Wade's team, he should renounce his throne like Hakeem in the subway and coming to America. He ain't the king no more if he goes and joins Dwayne Wade's team. But I wasn't, I, I, I hadn't, I, w I was tripping back then. I've evolved. We could all evolve. If I could change, you could change. Everybody could change, okay? And it's like, what I didn't allow for is that it wasn't, when LeBron James went to Miami, it wasn't Dwayne Wade's team anymore. And Dwayne Wade figured that out. It was LeBron James's team. Likewise, with Kevin Durant, okay, he jumped from a 3-1 collapse to the Warriors. The Warriors became Kevin Durant's team. Because if that's the case, then let's just start discrediting the Warriors for adding Kevin Durant in the first place. Oh, wait, I'm sure people actually do that. But like, okay, is it that Durant needed the Warriors or did the Warriors need Durant or both? And again, LeBron James ain't never won anything without a stacked team. All the LeBron yeah, well, championships. Nobody's, no, no, no. Exactly. It's, it's different. So, so, no, why, but, so but why is Kevin Durant no, my, my, such a bad dude? Argument. Two different arguments. Are they? Enlighten me. Look, what's, I'm, I'm just saying. Now, this is not my position. I want to be clear, it's not my position, but I can see there are different categories. <laughs> but some people lanes. say it. A lot of people, a lot of people say it, though. <laughs> not my position. A lot of people say no, it. No, man. I'm good. I'm good with, hey, the 80s were the 80s. I enjoyed it. You heard me say uh -huh. the other day, best basketball player, best, best basketball is being played right now. This is the best uh -huh. the NBA has been in, the, in, in, its, in its entire uh -huh. history. Right now, 75 years. Uh -huh. So, um, but the 80s, when you talk about Jordan, I get Jordan says, oh, yeah, I had talent on my team, but I didn't join Magic. I didn't join Bird. He didn't have I to. I know I had help. He didn't have and to. I didn't leave. He so that's where, that's where the, that's the dividing line. Those who stayed. But he didn't have to. And, and those who He didn't who have left. to. I get but it. But they didn't have I to. It was a different league. It was different. So why are you so why are you repeating somebody else's argument? <laughs> you agree? I'm, I, I'm clarifying because you're you're arguing two different things. You're arguing, hey, everybody's got. No, talent. I'm not. No, I'm not. But no, I'm not. But I'm not arguing. Two what different they're things. saying, I'm, I, I'm what arguing because I'm arguing on behalf of. And maybe I'm gonna leave it a little they, bit. They, they, stop with they. I'm talking to you. I ain't talking to they. I'm talking to you. I ain't talking to them. Okay, they they say not Michael. me. Oh, I can't stand that. But you know what, I, dude? You, you do you do that with interviews? Do you do you sit down in your exclusive interviews and be like, well, some people say like, oh wait, I, I hate it when reporters hide behind that. Some people well, say not me, but some people. What do you do say to those mean. people? Shut up. What do you, you do say you to those to people? Are you one of those people or not? Do what you do. What you gotta do to get the answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I hate that. Hey, never say never. What do you say? What do you say to the people who say? Here's what I say to those people who say: Be consistent. Sounds like a good because question. if it's all about rings, that sounds like if it's all phrase. about rings, then I'm not going to begrudge somebody for what they do to win a ring. If if it's all about rings, at the end of the day, now to segue to the second break of the show as we go to break because we'll talk about this guy on the other side. What I will criticize, and I did, what I will criticize is how somebody goes about pursuing a championship. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.